Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. Generative AI video, whether it's text to video or image to video, is without a doubt one of the hottest areas of AI development in terms of generative AI right now. The amount of progress we've seen in the last week or two alone is crazy. Whether it's the advent of real-time models, stable video diffusion, immense updates from Runway ML, Pika, and a few others, generative AI video is having an absolute moment. And it's starting to bring into question uh, the future of this generative AI technology, the future of entire industries, um, you know, movies and TV shows and animation. And it's really, really exciting. And today I wanna to get into something that I don't really think is talked about enough. These are niche open source models that are actually coming out of China. Now, obviously there's a lot of research that comes from all over the world. You know, the US has uh, kind of a stronghold on this right now, but in terms of velocity and the size of the leaps of improvements of this technology, I think China is currently dominating everyone. Of course, from France, we have the Mistral 7B model. We have the UAE creating their own models as well. And Europe has also contributed in a number of ways. But I think China is still showing that they have uh, an immense mind share in the AI space. And although they can't buy 4090s or H100s, they're making up for it with incredible research and incredible models that, you know, for instance, these models we're going to talk about today are as good as Runway ML was just a few months ago, which is kind of wild. Today, I want to talk about two different models that are both from uh, Ziwei Liu. He's an associate professor at a state university in China that focuses on um, AI and AI research. These models are crazy. Um, I think back to the first time we saw um, open source video models that rivaled their competitors that are closed source. So ZeroScope was one of the first we saw just a few months ago. It was the first to show like, look, we can create reef videos from nothing that are nearly as good as Runway ML. It's cool to see now that we are seeing even more open source models that are built on top of other open source technology, ironically, initially provided by um, Stability AI. Stable Video Diffusion is a, another fantastic example of this. People wonder if the best quality is coming from White Runway ML, why even bother? And I say this research is important to share and highlight because the second order effects are immense. You might say, you know, oh, Stability AI, they're crazy to release all of this you know, work they've done and all this money they've spent on GPUs. You know, why aren't they just selling it? And what's crazy is what we're gonna go over today, um, the model this is all based on was Stable Diffusion version 1.4. And this just shows that if you release this stuff open source, whether it's uh, the Segment Everything model from Meta or, this, or whether it's some of the new text-to-speech models, the research builds and it ends up giving us uh, sort of in the AI community or for myself, you know, in the developer community, awesome tooling that we otherwise would have never gotten uh, or that we would have had to stumble through ourselves. And it allows researchers like myself or like my colleagues to look at this stuff and learn from mistakes, learn with different approaches. And one thing that China is not given enough credit for is they have a lot of novel approaches. And in the US, at least within academia, uh, they're really restricted viewpoints of how you can do certain things. And open source throws a wrench in all of that in the best way possible. So let's get into what we're covering today, which are two generative video AI models. One is called CN, the other is called Levy. So first let's get into CN, which is a image to video model that actually has some really quirky features that I think are really cool. So CN was uh, open sourced about two weeks ago, and this also comes from the same Shanghai Institute of Artificial Intelligence. CN stands for a short to long video diffusion model for generative transition and prediction. So basically taking a number of uh, images and turning them into video based on a number of transitions. That's really what's going on. And what's cool is, you know, they provide you the um, pre-trained base models. It's, as I said, this is all based on Stable Diffusion version 1.4, which is largely considered the most general and just a really great starting point for a lot of this kind of work. It's not too heavy, it's not too uh, compute demanding, and it still gets you what you need. The ITV results here are really, really cool. So basically this is taking a rough prompt and an image and then giving you an output video. The prompt to here is what actually provides the context, as many of you know. So here we have kind of a faucet, we have some waves and then some water splashing on a woman's face. The impressive features I wanted to mention that were kind of really unique to this model are these multi-image prompts to video. So providing context with two very different images in certain cases and then having them both composed into the resulting video. So this might seem like a pretty benign model on its own. However, um, this is all baked into this new uh, text to video model that they're calling Levy. 
and Levy is really, really cool. So basically this is a text-to-video generation framework, and this is all part of a video generation system called Vichitect that Zoe Liu is actually working on, and that's really what this announcement is about. This is built on top of CN, and it brings a number of other features. So basically it provides much more fine-tuned control via text, uh, specifically for motion and perspective change, which are the two hardest things to do with these models, because temporally, it's a very hard thing for these models to really understand since they're not rendering the entire world. So again, there are some pre-trained models that are based on this and the examples here are pretty cool. So you'll see here uh, a Corgi's head depicted as an explosion of a nebula, which is exactly what we get. We have Yoda playing a guitar. Um, some of the more impressive ones, at least in terms of tilt shift and sort of subject change are this fantasy landscape one, um, saying a fantasy landscape trending on art station, high resolution a super cool giant robot in a cyberpunk city. Um, the other funny one where they somehow get a flash uh, and that wasn't even part of the prompt here is cinematic shot of Van Gogh's selfie, Van Gogh style. And there's some other even wilder ones here that uh, you know maybe you can get with stable diffusion video. But what's crazy is this is work that rivals you know stuff that was coming out um, being open sourced by Meta with their really, really early internal text to video models. And it's cool seeing this coming from a country like China. And of course they know how to hit the keywords because it wouldn't be a text to video model in 2023 if we didn't have a video that was Elon Musk in a spacesuit standing besides a rocket in high quality. And what's really cool is uh, you don't really need a massively capable GPU to run this, uh, unlike uh, stable video diffusion. So there are two hugging face links that you can find below. I've gone ahead and made a few videos just because I don't want you guys to have to wait around. Um, so this is a beaver walking in the park at sunrise oil painting style. Uh, this is Levy. And you can see here, uh, we have this cool beaver doing his thing in um, an oil painting style. Uh, it looks like it's pretty warm there, probably warmer than it is where I am now. And what's cool is this actually didn't take very long either. I think this took like 32 seconds. So obviously it's only a two second video, but I was impressed with how well this worked. And you can also use Sien currently but I've had issues with the queue actually clogging up. So yeah, this is a really cool model. Cien does seem to prefer smaller prompts, which is kind of interesting, but again, it's very cool to see research like this coming out. I'm gonna be doing some other reviews and comparisons with Pika 1.0 and, Runway, and Runway's latest updates. But what's crazy is I think in 2024, we're going to see a acceleration of progress in these models that will probably be faster um, and just at a greater scale than even the uh, text to image generation progress we saw in 2023, which was massive. Like thinking back to September of this past year, uh, it's wild to think of what we thought was impressive then and what is just commonplace now uh, all over Twitter, for example. So let me know if you think this is cool. Um, I like to highlight these lesser known models and lesser known researchers. Um, I think it's cool that this stuff is open source. You should definitely go try it out in Hugging Face or with your own GPU. Uh, as always, if you like our content, please like, subscribe, and share it as much as possible. And um, yeah, if you want a really powerful GPU to do this on, please check out our promo for Vast AI in the description as well. And we'll see you in the next video.